um, Consul General Gorgans, in um, citing major German investments, I heard the names of uh, Mobile, Chattanooga, Tuscaloosa, <coughs> Spartanburg, and two other North Carolina places. Um, noticeably absent is Georgia. Now, I know they're Georgian investments, um, German investments in Georgia. Uh, this goes back a long way. Um, incentives are uh, part of the investment game, as you, as you would. Um, at the same time today, however, Germany is presenting itself as a uh, major player in the environmental area, um, pushing its green technology very hard. And I'm wondering whether um, you've noticed a change in terms of the uh, internal investment policies that are of interest to uh, German com companies or European companies generally. Are they more likely to go now where they can get whatever they want? Or are they more concerned about the overall uh, policies of the states or, or the countries where they're going to in terms of uh, their environmental policies? And that, I, I think it's a, an open question really for the, for the whole panel, is, um, is the 21st century going to see a, a different kind of incentive game in terms of uh, FDI? <coughs> Thank you, Phil. Uh, two elements. Uh, A, the general distribution of, of German investment in the Southeast. I have indeed left out uh, Atlanta. Uh, but uh, I also said that we have, uh, that Germany, German companies are here with 170 uh, firms uh, who were already, most of them were already here uh, more than two years ago, before I arrived. I can give you uh, one example, uh, the most recent example, actually, this, uh, this summer, uh, Trox, a company was opened in, uh, in uh, Cummings. They, uh, they produce ventilation systems for big uh, for hotels, schools, uh, convention centers. It's a state-of-the-art facility, and uh, they uh, hope to increase their share uh, in the U.S. market, are quite optimistic and have a really a product uh, Germany can be proud of. That is the most recent example. I have been at uh, many uh, openings over the last two years, and uh, Atlanta was definitely <coughs> part of the picture. I could cite examples even from other areas of Georgia. So I yeah, please don't take my point. my selection of companies not as a prejudice against either. Metropolitan Atlanta or the state of Georgia. Uh, the other element is uh, what should, uh, what is the potential for German uh, companies uh, in the green economy uh, to, to be attracted uh, even more here? I would like to think, uh, first, yes, they are uh, aware of uh, a changing mood that more and more uh, politicians and customers in the Southeast think that alternative energy uh, is good for decreasing dependence on foreign oil, A, and B, good for, because if you can domestically pr uh, produce, you, uh, you, you, uh, you create jobs here locally. So for the strength of uh, a business location, it's good as well. And thirdly, uh, you do something good for the environment and for the living conditions of, of, uh, of your children and grandchildren. So three strong elements to push uh, a bigger share of uh, renewable energies. That uh, the knowledge uh, gets stronger and stronger. I think that uh, a feed-in tariff in states, feed-in tariff meaning that uh, if we install, for instance, I give you 
the example of solar panels that uh, economically the same model holds for wind energy and, and uh, biomass, other, other areas of uh, renewable energy. But I give you the example of, um, of, of solar cells. If I install a, or you install a, uh, a facility to, to generate solar energy on your roof, you will likely uh, capture much more than you need. And a uh, household has not, uh, over the 24 hours of the day, not, not constant uh, need for the use of energy. So the incentive for the company owner, who typically has larger uh, areas uh, for an installment of solar panels, or the little uh, house owner, Mm. Would needs an incentive <coughs> that uh, he can give the overflow, he can sell the overflow of uh, his privately uh, produced and solar energy, renewable energy, to the grid. And that is the problem here. I've heard the CEO of the Southern Company say, well, uh, I'm all for it if the price level is, uh, is okay. So they think, they think that uh, at the present time, it's, uh, you would have to pay for much for, too much for that. Mm. I, I believe that uh, an incentive, uh, tax incentive uh, in order to, to uh, make these uh, feed-in tariffs more competitive would do wonders. We have created in Germany, I have to look that number up, 